the acts of st paul and thecla the martyrdom of the holy and glorious first martyr and apostle thecla references to the acts of st paul and thecla tertullian says that this piece was forged by a presbyter of asia who being convicted confessed that he did it out of respect to paul and pope galatius in his decree against apocryphal books inserted it among them notwithstanding this a large part of the history was credited and looked upon as genuine among the primitive christians cyprian eusebius epiphanius austin gregory nagianzen chrysostom and severus sulpicius who all lived within the fourth century mention thecla or refer to her history basil of seleucia wrote her acts suffering and victories in verse and eugarius scholasticus an ecclesiastical historian about five ninety relates that after the emperor zeno had abdicated his empire and basilic had taken possession of it he had a vision of the holy and excellent martyr thecla who promised him the restoration of his empire for which when it was brought about he erected and dedicated a most noble and sumptuous temple to this famous martyr thecla at seleucia a city of Esoria, and bestowed upon it very noble endowments which says the author are preserved even till this day historical ecclesiastical libri three captum eight cardinal berenius locrinus archbishop wake and others and also the learned grave who edited the septuagint and revived the acts of paul and thecla consider them as having been written in the apostolic age as containing nothing superstitious or disagreeing from the opinions and belief of those times and in short as a genuine and authentic history again it is said that this is not the original book of the early christians but however that may be it is published from the greek manuscript in the bodleian library at oxford which dr mills copied and transmitted to dr grabe 